that the mechanism of evolution is natural selection was the great discovery of Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace. Here's how it works. Nature is prolific. There are many more creatures that are born than can possibly survive. So those varieties, which are by accident less well adapted, don't survive, or at least they leave fewer offspring. Now, mutations, sudden changes in heredity, are passed on. They breed true. The environment selects those occasional mutations which enhance survival. And the resulting series of slow changes in the nature of living beings is the origin of new species. Well, many people were scandalized by the ideas of evolution and natural selection. Our ancestors looked at the intricacy and beauty of life and saw evidence for a great designer. The simplest organism is a far more complex machine than the finest pocket watch. And yet, pocket watches don't spontaneously self-assemble or evolve in slow stages on their own from, say, uh, grandfather clocks. A watch implies a watchmaker. So, there seemed to be no way in which atoms could spontaneously fall together and create, say, a dandelion. The idea of a design is an appealing and altogether human explanation of the biological world. But as Darwin and Wallace showed, there's another way. Equally human, far more compelling. Natural selection, which makes the music of life more beautiful as the eons pass.